Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and I'm really excited today because I get 2020 Revit. So this is new version of the Revit and I want to show you what the new features we get from this, this new uh, Revit. It is new version or it is just DLC from the Afterdesk. We will see right now. So this is short video only about the features of this new version. Let's get started. And the first and I think the main uh, feature in this Revit, uh, we can calculate the pathway. So you will find it under Analyze and here the path of travel. So let's use it. It's really pretty simple. It's like Dynamo but without Dynamo. You just click on the one place and click on the second place and Revit automatically will create the pathway between the doors. So if you will choose this line, you will see first we get a new style of the line. It's called Path of Travel Line and uh, we get all these new parameters so we can see uh, what the type of the speed now using so this is average speed of the human uh, you can see the level and the, I think the most nice thing we can see the time how, how much we should spend time from this room to the other and we can see the distance so all these parameters you can create uh, on your own tags so you can tag it this is really possible to do so what else actually if you will uh, place here some uh, let's say we will place here some walls uh, around in this side like this so you can see our pathway should change we can update it just choose your line and after that go to the update and Revit automatically will update this pathway of course all your data data will change too uh, if you don't like this line you can change to any of this line for example let's use demolish and you will see your pathway now is dashed line actually you can go to the manage and change the style of this line too so if you will go to the line style you will find here your new line so where is it path of travel lines you can see it here and you can change to any one let's say gray uh, uh, red one and let's make it dash and dot Let's say OK, and now if I will change to this one, you can see we get something like that. Uh, of course, if you will change your scale, uh, it's working with the scale also. So this is like annotate model. Uh, this line it's annotate actually, and that's why if you will change scale, this line will ch will follow it. And one more thing, you can change also the parameters of this pathway so let's go back to the analysis and here under this small button we will get our road analysis the settings and here you will choose what you can be ignored so let's say we no want to ignore the door and here we can make the uh, analysis zoning plan so our top is 2000 millimeters now and our bottom it's 200 millimeters only so and what else we can do we can now use the schedules so if you will go to the schedule you will see we can calculate or our pathway here we can get all the data for example we can get the time running time and we can get the uh, the distance from the one room to the other and the second i think the most interesting thing we can filter it for example if we will use the filter let's go to the filter you can see i'm using here the filter and the rules of the filter like this if the length is more than seven hundred thousand millimeters uh, the line will be blue so for example now you can see everything red and let's create the new pathway way for example from this uh, side to that one and as you can see now it's become blue like this you can create for example the uh, pathway or direction way and you can um, control it for example if it will be more than 12 meters from the one room to the other one so this is it about the pathway let's go to the other new future now we are able to upload PDF file inside our project. So how we can do that? Finally, we should go to the insert and here you will find new tool PDF. Let's load this up. Yeah, I will find now my PDF document here. This is 1111 unique name and let's say open up. As you can see, I have only one uh, list here, but if you have like uh, more than one, you will see all the list uh, on here. Here I can choose any resolution as you want, uh, I will use 200, this is pretty enough. Let's say ok, just few seconds and now we can place it anywhere where we want. I will place it here, as you can see this is just a drawing, now I will try to snap it and I can't uh, snap it because uh, this is actually now like a picture. So to convert it to the able snaps you should uh, select your 
um, PDF and after that just click here and uh, able snaps. Uh, now go to the, for example, some uh, walls and you can uh, snap your object to this object if this is possible. So, uh, as you can see, this is really useful. Uh, I hope uh, next time Autodesk will create a really great PDF exporter. So, one small changes, but really, really great thing. Now you can create ellipse on your walls. So, just choose the walls. Here, under draw, you will find new tool, ellipse. And just three clicks, one, two and three, and you can change any radius what you want. So, this is a really cool thing, because before we should use the wall by face on the, our messing. Now, we can create with this tool. One more really cool thing, if you are working with the SketchUp, Finally, you can load it inside in Revit uh, from the SketchUp 2018 and you will save all the texture from the SketchUp. So I will show you right now what, what, what I'm talking about. Let's go to the insert and after that import the cut. Here I have already some building, as you can see, house. Let's load it up inside uh, my project. Uh, let's place it somewhere. It's already here, as you can see. And let's switch to the 3D view. Now we are in 3D view and what I'm gonna do now, I will change for example to realistic. If I'll change to the realistic, you can see we are using now Revit materials, but our Revit materials already changed uh, to the same type of the pattern as we loaded from the SketchUp. What I mean, if you, you know, for example, switch on to the shaded one, you will see real SketchUp model. So this is a really cool thing because you not will lose anything. Let's say here is your SketchUp model in Revit. Now, if I will go to the material, you will see uh, it's not right naming from the mm, SketchUp file, I'm sorry. But anyway, you can see one uh, 12 uh, dash, you can see this is the right color as you can see right now. And one more thing, this is uh, we can copy our legend now, finally. Uh, here is my legend, as you can see, this is my legend, it's not my drawing, you can see it. This is just PDF file inside the legend, I will show you right now. As you can see, this is only PDF file. So here is my list. You can see the my sheet is here, and this is my legend. And let's say here we have the second one list, and we want to copy it on the same position and the right place. So now we can just uh, go to the back, select your uh, legend. After that, copy. Go to the other one. I mean the the other sheet. And after that, just open the paste menu and find here align to the same planes. Let's go back to the material. Here we will find the new tab material libraries. If you will open up, you will see here the Autodesk materials. So you no need now uh, searching here what type of materials you want. You can get it now right here. And one more thing, you can now increase it to the big one. So this is large scale, you can do that. That's it for today, this is not was all the new features in Revit, I just show you the main one. We will see later on what Revit have the new new features, the smallest one, but uh, also the maybe some important things we will see later on. So leave a comment, do you think this is new Revit 2020 or it is just uh, DLC Revit 2019? And as always, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts, or you can buy two-story complete house, or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.